Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to build this simple pizza calculator application. Let's see a couple of guests came to your house and you wanted to order a pizza and you put a constraint okay one person can eat only two slices. So how many what is the total count of the pizzas is which you need to order from Domino or a Pizza Hut right. So this we will try to understand using use reducer that we will also understand the concept of use reducer and introducing the TypeScript with it just uh, defining the types of the actions and the payload okay and we need this final output okay these are the two pizzas which you need to order to satisfy the current need okay. So let's get started what we will do is first uh, we are going to use use reducer from the from the react hooks and here we will define the payload because what will happen is this is a simple HTML form user will say okay I have a 10 guest I have a one person can eat uh, five slices, and uh, the slices per pie is 20. So based on that we are going to calculate. So this is like a simple form I can say and this can be another component which is going to show you the output and on top of that we are going to create a state using use reducer some external state which these component will be listening. Okay. So we are not doing Redux but we are using use reducer hook. So we will define the, the pizza data. And we already know what all things we are going to have in the this type like number of uh, people number of guests or number of people whatever you can call it which is of type number I mean everything will be a number slice per person which is also be of type number so we are defining the type. We are just setting up the type definitions so that we can use this slice per person and the slices per person slices per pie okay I mean in one pizza how many slices are there okay now we will define a custom type what will be the, the pizza state okay the pizza state will be either a pizza data we have or it can also be a the, the number of pizza which we need which is also of type number so we just created a custom type pizza state that is a the union you can say either it can belongs to this or either it belongs to the pizza needed okay now what all actions we are going to perform like you might be changing the number of people uh, the, the the slices which an individual person can eat all these things you are free to change through the form right so what all different actions we are going to have these all different types we are going to have is let's say first type is these all will be a string like update number of people which we can just add update number of people and then another is update slice per person quickly add them per person these are of types right update slice per pie so these are different types we will be receiving as action type and the another argument we are going to have is a payload inside payload we are always sending of type number right like number of people you are changing number of slices per pie number of slices per person you are changing and this is our another type now we will write our reducer okay what it is going to be so we are going to calculate pizza needed okay and this is going to take an object okay this can be a simple function not a reducer but a simple function which is going to return us okay how many number of pizza you need right so what all inputs we are going to pass the number of people which is number of people and number of person based on that only we will be calculating and number of pi so this past argument is of type what the pizza date pizza data we are writing TypeScript so we have to define the type for each and everything and what it is returning this method is returning a type number 
because we need to get the total number what it is going to return so we will do is match dot ceiling so what we will do is number of people and number of pizza number of people and an individual can eat how many slices so it is slice per person divided by slice per pie simple logic nothing fancy it will just give you how many rough pizzas you need and then what we are going to do is simply we will have one more method add pizza needed to pizza data I mean this is optional if you want to add it so it's like we are merging we are creating a one single state by merging the the number of pizza so it's going to return the pizza state and in UK you know the in the pizza state we have pizza data and the pizza needed so we have data which is pizza data okay so what we are returning is we are just merging the data so we have we are spreading data and pizza needed so we are going to call this method calculate pizza needed and we are going to pass the data simple so this is the method we are going to call to return the new state every time because we got the new data and we also need to get the pizza needed and it is returning the pizza state which is containing the pizza data and the pizza needed now coming to our main part which is a reducer okay so const we can call it as a reducer and inside reducer what you are going to pass both the argument initial state and the action state is is a state and action action is of type is a action okay now it's all switch case like if the the action dot type is saying is update number of people right what we will do is we are passing this string that means you wanted to change the number of people through some html form what we will do is we are going to call this method every time and it will return as the new state right and what will be the payload here we are passing data right so this is my current state and what we are changing is number of people which is coming inside action dot payload I mean you will always pass number as a payload and what I'm changing is just a number of people in the whole object the the rest of the state is still same now I can add all these conditions action dot type is update slice per person so now it is going to be a simple logic you just write a if blocks and here slice per person action dot payload here slice per pi right every time uh, it is just going to calculate the new state what is wrong here this condition will always return false action dot type update slice per pi let me see this is per person I didn't get it this is string error action dot type action dot type and then slice per person number of people slice per person and this slice per pi okay and then finally we are returning the current state whatever you are updating okay so let's see why it is complaining action dot type is update slice per pi update slices per person maybe I did something wrong okay this type is not defined that means okay this is there this should be update slice per person okay now everything is good I mean you can see the compile time error right because this type was not even there so it will always return as a false now we are going to write our components this is like we have written as 
ice and clean reducer and all the types now we will write our simple components so our components will be a simple form first of all let's write our root component which is going to use the use reducer hook const application and it is going to return two child components this is how we structure the components like uh, we distribute the components into parent and child so this is my current state and dispatch and what I'm doing is use reducer this is how we write a simple reducer and we have to pass the reducer function and the initial state okay so initial state what is this here initial state uh, we haven't created but initial state will be let's say this is the pizza action pizza state and here we can put this is my initial state and this is saying pizza state is having pizza needed slices per person slices per pie okay just a typo I mean I copied everywhere this wrong thing but that is fine now slices per, per people person slices per pie and then pizza needed okay, this is again as okay wherever we change it we have to change it everywhere Slices per pi, and this is my initial state. Okay, I mean, in the reducer, what we pass is the reducer functions and your initial state. Right now, you can see, like, whenever you change any variable, you see the, the error coming because that doesn't like, let's say, here I, I have broken the type. Now, if you see, let's change something else. If you then you can see everywhere. The type mismatch right so this is the beauty of typescript you can't access a property which doesn't even exist on the object coming back to our react component here we are writing our main root component okay and what this is going to do is it is going to return some jsx that is nothing but set of components okay here we can have two components one is the form component one is the list component So this is calculation and we are going to pass the count count we can access from state current state dot is are needed right and this is going to just display okay these are the number of pizzas which we need and that another is calculator calculator component and here we need to pass the the current state and the dispatch both properties state we can pass as it is and dispatch we can just forward it so state and dispatch both the properties we are passing to the component now this calculator component is going to have a simple form and this is going to have a simple label to show what all what is the count export default application now we will create these two components first is a calculation component that is nothing but showing okay these men this is the count which you need simple calculation we can just simply draft and it is taking count as a props it is showing the count that's it now calculator component this is going to be a little tricky because it is going to have a form and from here we have to dispatch all these actions okay so let's write this component and you can see this component is taking two props one is a dispatch and one is a state okay so dispatch and state this is taking both the arguments and what is the type if you see oh, sorry the arguments will go here and what is the type here I'm accessing them from the props and what is the type type here you can see 
I'm assigning the type is a state is a is a state and the this is a dispatch and state and dispatch is of let's define the type for the dispatch this is going to come from the react dispatch we are dispatching all these with direction okay maybe it's some typo so this is my pizza action and pizza state everything should be good now okay now here i'm returning gsx okay this is what this component is doing it is going to return a simple form you can just write a simple form okay inside this form we you can see we have some text fields right input type text fields like number of people uh, the slices per person and all so we just create a label okay let's just create an input type text just forget about the the styling things input type uh, text not text because it is numeric input so input type number and value now how i access the value value would be coming from state dot number of people right this is what will be the value and whenever i'm doing on change whenever you are changing something in this text field i will be triggering this on change event and here i have the event object and i can dispatch the event from here this is how it works we have access to state and dispatch right so i should be able to dispatch here i have access to dispatch so i can say okay dispatch this event with two things we are going to pass the type and the payload so type is update number of people and then payload we are going getting from event dot target dot value now same thing we can do to all the text fields the only difference we are going to have is uh, the action will be different and the payload will be different and the i mean the objective of input text field will be different so this is my first input text field second and third here instead of number of people it will be a slices per person slices per slice per person and here the action name will be update slices that we can see and here event dot target dot value let's copy the type from here update slice per person it should be plural by default but let's see and here will will be number type number and the last type is update slice per pie event dot target dot value here slice per pie okay so some kind of like uh, we have created this structure now what i will do is just add these labels and we will be able to see this in action so this is how it looks like i mean we can customize this form just add some classes and all now you can create a simple styles you can create simple style.css and import it in the index dot or application dot tsx that is uh, another thing okay forget about the styling but uh, here my my objective is to explain you how to use the typings with the use reducer hook simple right this is the form component we had and we are dispatching all these actions and we are accessing the state so using the use reducer we are actually externalizing the management of the state outside like the reader right here it is just a simple reducer which is providing us two things state and dispatch through the state i can access all the properties number of people number of pizzas pizza per slice all these things and i can dispatch this from the react component and this dispatch is actually taking us to the reducer returning us the new state by calculating this calling this method and giving us the new values and those we are able to populate let's say if i make it 16 then my current need is 4 right if pizza per slice is 4 then it changes to 8 
right so this is like a working example you have a three text field dispatching and it is taking us to this reducer every time returning as the new state and new state is populating back to these text fields because you can see we are these are the control components right value is state dot slice per person value dot slice per pie because first you are changing it it is dispatching the action action is updating the the state in, in update is returning the new state through the reducer and that new state is flowing back to the components and here we are accessing the new state okay i hope you like it next couple of examples we will talk about uh, context apis and all and then we will do a full stack clone